I am so excited, so excited, so excited to be back on set for Monster High 2, our sophomore year. I love working with my cast, they're like family. It is just a dream come true to be able to work with all these amazing people again. I am living and breathing this. In between movies, what have I been up to? So in between the last movie and this movie, I recovered from my burnout from the last movie. I relaxed a little bit, caught up on some sleep. I've been doing a lot of rock climbing, which is one of my favorite things to do when I'm not working. Playing a lot of video games and crocheting. Working on my acting and writing some music. What I've been up to is waiting for the second movie of Monster High. I found out that Monster High 2 was greenlit when I was on a Zoom call. I was actually in the middle of babysitting. I was on a trip with my family to North Dakota. I was actually with Mia and Cece. We got this like really cryptic text from our directors. They were like, um, we need to do a Zoom call and it's really important. Yeah, we were all a bit nervous. And he was like, you guys, your social media presence needs to be more because we need you to post a video about how there's a second Monster High movie coming up. We were like, oh my gosh. I was at work, I got a call, and it was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to Vancouver, I'm gonna go shoot this movie. That's just always the best feeling. And I was freaking out, and I called my parents, and I just drove home, and I was crying. And so that was crazy experience to have. The first time that we all saw each other this time around was, of course, at our boot camp rehearsal, where we learned all of the dances for the entire movie in just two weeks. When I first saw all of them in the dance rehearsal space, oh, it was so, so fun. I mean, it was wonderful. It was just so warm. My first moments coming back was just super welcoming. We all know each other already. We're all super close friends, and it really feels like summer camp. We saw each other on that first day, and it was just like we had never left. It almost felt like this isn't a second movie, but just a continuation of the last one. We always just want to talk and have a great time, no matter how tired or how much work we have to do. Thank you to the choreographers for having so much patience with us, but we just get so excited. Being able to reunite was just, it was wonderful. It felt like being home. After the movie came out, the response that I received from the fans was wonderful. I met so many lovely kids along the way that have just told me like their favorite songs and like their favorite characters. I was really excited for the first movie to come out because I knew we'd get a whole new base of fans. Monster High is such a beloved entity and I know when people heard that we were doing a live action movie, it was a little bit stressful because it's like a bunch of people's babies. So many fans love the characters and the stories and I just really wanted to be a part of bringing that to life. So the reactions to the first movie were really awesome, especially from my close friends and family. People had a great response and I felt so special and so honored. I actually never get recognized from Frankie because most people cannot recognize me even on set after I take off all the makeup and hair. Well, it's interesting with this movie being recognized because we look very, very different from our characters. I look nothing like this when all of this comes off. It's kind of like de-dragging. I do not look anything like this in real life. There was this one time I was at an event and there was this little girl and she like just went up to me and hugged me and it was the cutest thing ever. I mean, she was telling me her favorite songs and just what she thought about it. There was a different level of excitement, either when I got recognized in public or just in general online. It just made me realize like what, what an impact that this movie has had on kids everywhere. I kept in touch with, I'm pretty sure, all of my castmates in between movies. We've kept in touch all throughout the year. We do have a cast group chat. It is always popping with lots of photos. We text each other on holidays. We have a big group chat called Ghouls. Most of the cast has like disposable cameras and they get their film developed way after they get home. So we'll send pictures of that. I'm very lucky to live pretty close to Cece, Naya, and Jai. So I actually saw them throughout the year that we were away. We send happy birthday messages and holiday messages. We're just too good of friends to stay away. <laughs> the power of three has grown in this movie. You see Draculaura really finding herself with her witchcraft and just being more confident in who she is as a whole. And Frankie is 
finding out new parts of themselves and new powers and Claudine, she has a lot of things on her plate. Frankie, Dracula, and Claudine are all at very crucial growth points in their own personal lives. And as they grow individually, of course the group dynamic also has to find a way to grow and adapt around their changes. Definitely we have a couple times where some of them lose sight of what's really important, but at the end of the day, the love they share will always be stronger than the challenges they face. It's interesting to come back as a character who's lived a whole year of a life that no one gets to see. In this movie, Frankie has a lot of new skills, including super strength and super electricity. This movie, something I'm focused on when I'm playing Deuce is what's going on internally. He's kind of questioning kind of being at Monster High. He's being fooled by these thoughts a different way. Oh, this time around is just crazier, obviously. Y'all see a lot more Heath in this thing. For Draculaura, obviously she has opened her undead heart and how I have changed, me personally. I have more of a strong opinion of who I am. It's really, really cool to experience Draculaura doing the same, but you know, in other ways, and in her pink way, obviously. Frankie has a little bit of a newfound confidence where they've claimed the fact that they're a weirdo and that sometimes they're a little confused and they don't know what's going on. They're just kind of like a half-baked cookie right now. Claudine has changed quite a bit. I mean, this time around, she's a lot more confident and self-assured. She also ends up putting a lot of pressure on herself, which you'll see is a, a bit of an issue, but she's she's working through it. She's 16, so she's, she's growing, just like we all are. <laughs> well, we're still young and we're still learning, and I think that's an important lesson. Like, you're just always, you're always learning. Even if you think you know it all, you don't. And I'm just so excited to share all of the hard work that we've done with everybody. It's a new year and a new moon. And Monster High welcomes you back.